Hey everybody, welcome back to another video game discussion. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the SNES Classic. Has been announced today, uh, or, t or yesterday, depending on when I upload this freaking video, because it's like a last minute thing. Like, really, it's a last minute thing. Like, I have to go to work in, like, 40 minutes. So, um, <laughs> this is, uh, well, very unexpected thing. The, the way they announced it, like, you would have known if you, if you got, like, subscribed to so many other YouTubers that does the same exact related kind of videos you do. And the way they announced it was like, oh, hey, Twitter. Like, literally, Twitter. Like, not a YouTube video. Not not their website or anything. No, Twitter. Not saying it's a bad thing. But it kind of is when you're saying something this big and huge. Oh, hey, we're just going to release the SNES Classic, which includes 21 games, including Contra 3, Donkey Kong Country, uh, Earthbound, Super Mario World, Yoshi's Island, F-Zero, um, freaking St uh, Star Fox, uh, Secret of Mana, and a bunch of other great games on that console, including, uh, you know, Final Fantasy 3, which is 6, and, you know, Super Punch-Out, and tons of more. But this is probably the biggest one that's selling it for everyone. Not just because it's a emulation that's HDMI that can support 20 games. Why is it 21? What's the 21st game? What's the last one? The biggest one that's selling it for a lot of people, including myself, is the inclusion of the never-released game Star Fox 2 for the Super Nintendo this game was never released I believe anywhere I believe I could be wrong uh, I don't know about you man <laughs> that's why I'm saying that uh, it was never released and they're finally releasing it um, finally after 20 years or whatever it was since that was a thing and uh, it, it's it's going for $80 with two controllers of course it's a, it could be in the size of your hand the whole SNES classic, the Super Nintendo you know, Mini, could be on the sh uh, in, in the palms of your hands. Like no lie, it's it's super small. Of course, it's uh, of course if you've seen the original NES Classic Edition that came with the 30 games for sixty dollars, uh, with one controller I think it was. This one will be two controllers because we've seen it in the box art. So hopefully there will literally be two controllers Nintendo. Uh, you know it it just like, hey, we're finally getting this thing out. <laughs> finally, you know? Uh, and that thing was small, like I said. That thing was small. I don't own an, S an NES Classic. I don't. Even though a lot of the games, and I mean a lot probably as in all of the games, except for maybe like, I want to say a good five, maybe less, I own already for the NES Classic. Now you're probably saying, is this good for people that don't own a Super Nintendo or, or even own any of these games? Hell yeah! It's good for anyone that's just trying to get this for the Super Nintendo. Like, if, if you're trying to play the main greatest games of all time for the Super Nintendo, yeah, that's probably the best way you can. Except for, you know, other methods like emulating and or modding your Xbox original console to do that. But, you know what I mean. So, that's still pretty crazy, though. That's still pretty crazy, you know, that they're, they're you know, that it's coming out. And I, I just... You know, I thought like, hey, to be an announcement, like a video. No, it was just Twitter. Like, okay, Twitter. So, I don't know. It's just kind of like weird how they announced it. It's just weird. Um, so, for people that do already own the games, what do I think about my personal opinion about do you need this uh, console? For if you do or do not, if you own all the games I just said, uh, and it is a possibility for Star Fox 2 for, uh, for being a uh, reproduction. That's a that's a thing. Uh, then no, I don't think you need it at all. Uh, but if you don't own any of them, or even some of them, or half of them, or whatever, it's a uh, depends on you kind of situation. Now for me, uh, <laughs> for me, I literally own almost every single game on that, uh, you know, Game Classic Edition. NES Classic, so SNES Classic. Sorry, I own all of them, almost, almost. Of course, I don't own Star Fox 2. I know it's like it's just said a reproduction, but I don't own a reproduction of it. Uh, see with Earthbound, I don't own it. <laughs> Do you want to go, you know, spend two hundred dollars to go buy Earthbound? I don't think so. But I, well, yeah, like I said, I don't own it. Uh, there's a few other games I think they said I kind of don't own, but I kind of own like all of them. 
I know I remember saying Super Punch-Out, I don't own that, surprisingly, and a couple other games, but regardless, this is an $80 value, and I think it's actually pretty okay for that value. Now, I personally think it's a little expensive, a little, little expensive. I thought maybe it was 70 would be better, because the original NES Classic was 60 so the Super NES Classic, I would assume it would be 70 but I guess not. And plus it has nine less games. Nine less games. So I'm not even sure, but still, if you're going to think about, like, oh, but think about how expensive the Super Nintendo is and how expensive the actual games are. <laughs> to let you know, Earthbound, like a set, is a $200 game, which is already, you know, there. You're done. If you just want an Earthbound, then you got it. You're done. But if you want other games, like, yeah, there's those possibilities of getting those games too. So, trust me. All those games, I don't know how much it really adds up to. The secret amount is like, what, $60, $80? I don't know nowadays. Who knows? Uh, it always fluctuates that game. Uh, Super Punch Out, I think it's like a $40 game, $30 game. Super, Kirby Superstar, if you guys mentioned that game, it's like, I think, $30 as well, $40. I don't know. A lot of these games are, I'm mentioning is about $30 to $40. Uh, I think the, the games that's like, you know, not as expensive as I think it's Star Fox 1, F Zero, uh, I think Super Mario World, possibly Yoshi's Island. I'm not sure. Those are like maybe like a 15 to 10, no, 15 to 20 dollar game, I would say, around that time. I don't know. It all fluctuate. That's all I really do know. <laughs> but regardless, everybody, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, look below. And by the way, you cannot pre order yet the Super NES Classic. You cannot pre order it. I already tried. As in, yes, I called GameStop, I called them up. And I wasn't the only one calling for the console <laughs> to see if it's available to pre-order. It's not or it's not able. You're not able to do it yet at all. Just be prepared to slam down your $80 when they are, okay? So once again, we thank you for watching. This is all for the next one, right? Bye!